obviously I'm sure my, some of you have heard that there's ties. You can have a tie in Japan. But I think this year they're saying, last year it was only 10 innings, extra innings. You could only go to 10th inning. This year I think it's over after the 9th. Yeah, the game could end in a tie. So that's a little weird. If you don't want to miss a single video throughout the season, then subscribe to this channel, Momentum, and follow me on Instagram. Um, then you won't miss a thing, and you'll be able to see more of Japan as the season gets going. One awesome thing that we have at this place is a dock. Cool dock on sunny days. There's usually a lot of big fish that are right under here. But yeah, so I'll just come and chill, sit. Oh, sit out here in the water. Today's a real calm and glassy day. Oh, nice, peaceful and relaxing. Always loved the ocean. Something about it, it's just calming and meditating. And our season starts, our first game starts 23rd. First game, we will travel to Nagoya, really cool city. I got one of my favorite restaurants, there's Midtown Barbecue. It's a, obviously American style steak and stuff like that. It's so good. So I'm so excited for that. Um, so anyone that's in the minor leagues, that's on a minor league contract, can get called up. And there's no 40 man where they have to make roster spots, moves and stuff like that. So there's a lot of moves throughout the season, up and down with guys. Um, they interchange a lot of positions quite frequently, especially pitching. And then any rainouts or anything that happens like that, there's no double headers the next day. You make those games up at the end of the season. So last year, I think our season ended November 8th or something like that. And then we had extra two weeks of makeup games that were rain, rain us throughout the season. So I could sit out here all day. All day. Okay, so we are in Nagoya for the beginning of our season tomorrow. And we are staying in a new hotel, which is Kind of a typical Japanese hotel. Walk in the bathroom and the bed. That's kind of the typical small, small hotel room. So today was an off day. Just got into Nagoya. Now I am going to head out to Rondo 7-Eleven and get some dinner at my favorite spot here. It's called Midtown Barbecue. Barbecue. Midtown Barbecue. Good dinner. 7 even snacks for breakfast tomorrow. I hook up Apple TV and watch some TV. Nagoya is a pretty awesome city. Walk underground and there's a whole new city. Underground. It's a pretty cool area. Pretty sweet entrance to our hotel. It has arrived. It is here. Got a little ribeye steak. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't look much, but it's um it's good and it's a it's a nice change from the 
Japanese food. Yeah, mashed potatoes, rolls, nice American style steak. So every once in a while, this is really nice. <laughs> so every little change of food. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy this. by the science museum. There's the people doing dancing over there. I wish I had time in the day to be able to go inside, but it closes in 30 minutes, so I won't be able to, but. It looks pretty awesome. I love me some science museums. More vending machines. And more. And more. And another one. When I tell you they're literally everywhere, I mean they are literally everywhere. Bending machines. Bending machines. Everywhere. So the season is officially underway. I got my first inning in today. Clean inning. Felt good. Feeling better. Through strikes. So that's good. But still got work to do. So. Yeah, it's good. Season started and now, now we go. Now it's games, 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 games. So we've got one more game here in Nagoya. Then we travel to Osaka tomorrow, play three games there. One of the games will be a country game, they call them. So we go out and play at a stadium about 40 minutes from the city. They usually do them as exhibition games type of things throughout the season. So they'll be neat to check out. And probably when this video comes out, I'll be able to share about it. But in two weeks time, I'm leaving Japan to go back to the States because my wife is having our first child. So I'm not missing that. And so I'm going back to the States for a week to be there with her when she has the baby and be there to take her home and uh, spend time with her and the baby for a bit and then head back. So that was what I was saying is part of the reason why I've probably been sent down uh, just because I was going to leave nine days into the major league season so they can give um, opportunities to the younger guys and see what they got because um, when they get back I have to quarantine all over again and then build back up again so uh, it's a little inconvenient but hey you know it's an event in our lives that I'm not going to miss so that's two weeks from today two weeks I'll be leaving to go back for the birth of our child. So I know you're some probably wondering how we understand things in Japan, because everything's in Japanese. How do we know what signs mean, what they're talking about? Yeah, you're right, everything is Japanese. So like this is the air conditioner controller. As you can see, it's all in Japanese. So I'm saying, okay, well, how the heck do you know what's going on? Well, Google comes to the rescue. Google Translate app has a feature that you can instantly translate um, signs and stuff like that just by taking a picture of it. So what I usually do is um, go up to the, the thermometer, I'll take a picture, it scans, looking for Japanese. So that top one, the top line will be, that's your air conditioning. Next one, humidifier heating um and so that's how we that's pretty much how i figure out what's going on i use this app translate it and go on even with menus um restaurant menus ubi eats everything's mostly in japanese so you just use the app take a picture of it translate it um takes a little longer than usual but hey at least we can understand what's going on so when um <clears throat> You at a restaurant, somebody can't understand each other talking, you can speak into it, it'll translate it straight back to them, they can speak into it and it speaks back to you.